So we have in prospect theory a value curve which says, well, we have diminishing market utility, but we have another part of this which is actually the loss side. And the loss size is different from the gain side. So that is, for example, if you have the value of one, and of course it should be said that it's very steep in the beginning. So the value of one might be equal 1.5, whereas the value of two is only equal to two. But these guys are looking at losses as well. So they're saying, well, the value of minus one might be equal to minus two. Where is the value? Because we have diminishing it there as well. So the value of minus two might be equal to minus three. But they're calculating in a different way. So they're saying, well, we're not going to say we're not going from here to here. We're actually both having a gain and a loss. So if we're going from two to one, we're actually getting two and getting minus one. And as you will see, well, that's actually zero. So compared to the expected utility theory, we had the diminishing uh, marginal. Well, that's, that was equal to a half. Why is that interesting? Why is that even interesting? Well, if you actually win $1,000 in a lottery, but just afterwards, you get a speeding ticket of $500. Expected utility theory would say, well, you're $500 happy. But prospect theory says, well, you're not $500 happy. You are $500 lost dollars unhappy. And that summed up with the $1,000 you have is the $500. You're not going to be happy at all. So even though you gain $500, you're not going to be happy. So why is that interesting? Well, it's not only true for money. We're going to try to spend a lot of time avoiding losses. For example, with bad emotions, we're going to try to use more time on avoiding bad emotions than trying to seek out good emotions. Because bad emotions seems to be more worse for us than experiencing good emotions. So as we say here, well, they're going to try hard to escape bad moods then you try to prolong good moods. And do you, they remember bad moods longer than good moods. And of course, somebody claims that well, you've got to have one, one bad emotion equals five good emotions and so forth. I don't know if that's true. So how can we use this in influence? Well, first of all, if we have to sell people something, for example, well, they're going to lose something. They're going to lose money. So we have different fees. We have different small losses. Well, you should actually try to pull them. And why so? Let's look at the math. First of all, as you'll see here, the loss is bigger for two small losses than it is for one big. So if you want someone to accept many small losses, just frame them as one loss. This is one loss. We call this the integration. And it helps credit cards to be acceptable. Like they kind of sum it all together. So let's have a number example. If you have the value of minus 200 is minus 2. Minus of 400, value of minus 400 is minus 2.8. Value of minus 600 is minus 3.6. Well, as you will see, it's a lot worse because you will feel if you get the losses two, two times. The small losses, it's still $600 you're losing, for example. But the feeling of the loss, if you first lose 200 and then 400, is going to be worse than the feeling of losing $600 at once. So here, for example, the number example gives us minus 4.8, which is a lot worse than minus 3.2. Well, the other way around is true as well. You should not wrap your gifts. You should actually separate gains. So of course, this is just the opposite of the example we saw for. So if you actually want to make people feel better, you should not wrap all their gifts into one box. You should put them into three different boxes. So let's have a real life example. Tivoli, the, uh, the park over here, has, of course, the ability to buy tickets for a single ride. Or you can buy, buy this uh, try everything for free, pay once. And of course, the loss is a lot bigger. But remember, every time 
if, if you have this tour pass, which is called in Danish, which is basically to get everything for free, well, it's one large loss. So you will get one large loss in the beginning of this uh, amusement park start, and then you feel happy. And they're really trying to promote this. Because if people buy tickets every time, it's going to feel like a loss every time they try something. That's a lot worse.